This is a short video on how to format cross tabs. So if we go up and just make a regular cross tab, so we've been doing this for about a week, right? So we want to see the relationship between sex and political party affiliation. We need to do all the typical things we've been doing so far, like um, make sure we're percentaging on the independent variable, right? Do we want to get our chi-squared? And then we run, we might even be able to change the format a little. You can change whether you want things to be ascending or descending in the rows. And then we run it, and we get this kind of like a big ugly thing, right? So what we can do here, we can double click on this. Uh, we don't want to play in the pivoting trees, right? And we get um, some options for editing, right? So we can actually go in and we can change some of the text in these. You can go in and delete things, delete that part. Just like a Microsoft Word table, you can move some things around. Um, you can do things like um, rotate outer row labels, right, to make it more aesthetic. So if you look up here, there's all sorts of different things you can do. You can paste and delete text. You can um, show all dimension labels. You can show all categories. You can change the variable labels. You can put the name and the label in both, right? Some of these things are things you don't want to do. You can insert captions and footnotes. Um, reorder categories. You can transpose your rows and columns, which is, whoa, pretty dramatic, um, but maybe more aesthetically pleasing. Let's do that. Uh, let's take that back. You can change the format. You can change the table properties, right? So you can do things like hide empty rows and columns. Um, you can change the cell formats, borders. Um, so you can make it have more or less lines, um, changing all of those. And you can also change the table looks. And this is the one that we use probably the most. Right, so table looks is the style of the table. So say I want to look at um, this academic style. Right, so this is just a little bit kind of easier to read, I think. You can go in and change the font of the whole table, right? And you can go in and change um, the title. be like, oh, I want this to be bigger, I want this to be smaller, I want to go in and change some of this text instead of, you know, having a strong Democrat. Right, so you can really kind of play with the aesthetics kind of infinitely so. But again, you first want to make sure that you really like the way this is set up. You, you like your independent dependent variable as percentaged correctly and then start to play with some of the aesthetics of it. You don't need to change the aesthetics of your chi-squared test. Right? So this is something that um, you're just going to be submitting as part of your paper. You don't need to worry about the aesthetics of it.